Welcome to the latest episode of the series How to Paint Miniatures. In the upcoming tutorials, we'll be painting figures from the Bloodborne board game. On today's video, we'll cover the steps to paint the Solid Cleaver Hunter. If you're enjoying these guides, consider subscribing for more board game painting tutorials and don't forget to like the video to help us. For this project, you need the following colors. After basing and priming the miniature, I painted the pants with a mix of Mechanical Standard Grey, Yush Body Bone and Catacomb Flesh. Then I mixed more Yush Body Bone to the mixture to blend the wet color with the lighter one and make the highlights of the folds of the pants. After it dried, I shaded with Seraphine Sepia for some shadows. For the interior part of the coat, I started with a base of Mechanical Standard Grey and Caliban Green and added some layers of Administratum Grey to lighten the folds and bottom of the cape. Then for the shirt, I mixed Mechanical Standard Grey with Maston Red and Mournfang Brown. Afterwards, I shaded it with Seraphine Sepia. I took the mix of Mechanics Standard Grey, Meston Red and Morphing Brown of the shirt and added Yush Body Bone to lighten and highlight the shirt. Then I painted the boots and gloves with Hinox Hide. Moving on to the next step, I mixed Mechanics Standard Grey with Catacomb Flash to paint the base of the coat. After it dried, I painted the scarf and leather straps with Zandri Dust. Then I used Mournfang Brown to paint the interior parts of the straps. To give more depth to the coat, I mixed Kislev Flesh with Catacomb Flesh and started blending the paint with the base to highlight the folds of the fabric. For the face mask, I based it with Mechanic Standard Grey and made some highlights with Administratum Grey. Now for the sock cleaver, I painted the handle with Zendry Dust and the blade with Iron Breaker. Then I shaded the top part of the blade with new oil. I used Uchibari Bone to paint the rags that are around the blade and to highlight the straps of the handle. Going back to the gloves, I highlighted the details with Sigmarit. I applied Seraphine Sepia to the handle of the weapon. Finally, I soaked the blade with some blood made of Meston Red and Abaddon Black. And this is the final result. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any constructive feedback, questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to drop in the comment section below. If you still haven't done so, hit the bell button to get a notification when the next episode is up. See you next time!